Good morning everyone. So it is seven o'clock in the morning and I have just come off the Northlink ferry. Um, I have managed to get off the island and I'm meeting up with Jake and I think Dave, Dave's gonna be there and we're gonna we've got four days of deer stalking. We're helping somebody out with a deer cult, so it's a bit of a dream we get to go and we get to basically do as much deer stalking as possible. So I'm pretty pumped up. It's gonna be good to see Jake and I can't wait to hit the hills, see some trees and hopefully find some deer. So got a couple of hour drive, go meet up with Jake and uh, it goes from there really. Here he is, me old trucker, finally arrived. <laughs> How are you doing buddy? Good, yourself? Good to see you. Now we have to go make sure we've got enough food for however long days. And alcohol. Whiskey. whiskey, whiskey is important. When you go stalking, whiskey is important. And it's Burns night as well. Um, so when we get there, we're gonna be looking at the haggis, neeps, tatties, whiskey, pipes. Well, I'm looking forward to it. So let's get stuck into it. Here we go. We are going up the track now, up the lodge. How nice is seeing trees. I've not seen trees properly in so long living in Shetland. Um, this is my favourite kind of tree, lots of silver birch in here. Can't wait to get in amongst it. Definitely a cup of tea in order though when we get in there. So excited. Here we go. lodge for four days I'm absolutely buzzing look at it and we're literally in the thick of it all this ground is the stuff we're gonna be stalking on um, it's a bit chilly temperatures drop fingers crossed a nice little dusting of snow first we've got the chores to do though we've got to get the food packed in and Jake's gonna give me a tour <laughs> just heard that one of the lads is already out and he's just gotten into some deer and knows what way um, the other ones are heading so we're gearing up and we're gonna get straight out there and see if we can get lucky to intercept them um, and see what it's about just as we got a few hours late left so let's get geared up So we've just been coming up the path after I left the pickup and we bumped two um, seeker females as well which is what we're after. Um, couldn't get a shot, Josh managed to get down on the fence post but they, they didn't go broadside and uh, eventually they ran on up over the hill here and we've just seen deer in the thermal um, probably about half a kilometre away so it could be them, it could be a different group but we'll carry on and we'll see if we can, if we can get into them from here.
Before I take the shot, I'm triple checking everything. I'm wanting to know what way she's sitting, if there's any other beasts behind her. I don't want the bullet going through and injuring another animal. So I make sure that everything's right just before I pull the trigger. With the first shot successful and the deer going down straight away, it gave me the opportunity to take another shot at the deer that had just started to move away. Thankfully this one stands broadside and I'm able to get a decent shot off, allowing me to get a good bullet placement around the heart and lungs. So I've got one down just over there, I've shot another one and it's just went over the top of this ridge. I'm hoping it's just down on the other side. I'm now going to sneak over and see if I can see it, not bump it. It's definitely hit. But I had to range really quickly, so I think bullets may went a bit high. So I'll go find out. Just coming to the first one now. Young seeker. Now before you come in. Always just touch the eyes, make sure it's 100% dead. So I've got one. Jake's now got the thermal imaging on. He's looking over there. Jake looks like he's walking over to something now. So maybe he's spotted something. That's great, absolutely great. Jake's just picked the other one up, spied it with the thermal. So I'm gonna go over and meet him. How about that? Mad. Off the ferry today, seven o'clock this morning, Shetland. I'm out on the hill here. Look at this, absolutely ridiculous. Here we go, the saviour, Jake and his thermal. There we have it. Well done. Boom. Well done, mate. Yes. That ran probably, what, two, 250 metres from, yeah. from where it was shot. That's not bad. I've just started using uh, lead-free bullets, which I'm not used to. Um, so I'm glad that everything I shot at is down. On my first day of stalking with Jake, look at that, that's a guilty face. That is a big smile, that's what that is. <laughs> we do get in a little bit of trouble, don't we, when we get back together? <laughs> oh, we sometimes do. Well this done, is... mate. That was a really ah. good start. Mm. That was amazing. It's nice to actually... Uh... How far did I crawl? 
It must have been 200 meters. Yeah, I think, well, I think we crawled in for probably 50 meters to get to that first point. And yeah. We, we laid up for a while um, and then you sort of crawled in another 150 to get a bit closer. Oh, you might see me like do a little hop and skip. It's because I came over a lake <laughs> and I'm not joking. It went all down my boots. So I've been walking around with water in my boot and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, it's so worth it. Well so done. worth it. Uh, that's a really good, good shot. Yeah. Um, a nice, nice uh, little youngster to take out as well. So. Um, I'll be pleased, the owner will be pleased, so let's get him back. There you have it, the first seeker hind. It's a nice young one, which is what we're after. I don't know if you can see that, so this is what we call, what I'd call a long shot. You can see how it's really bright red, that means it's really oxygenated. Um, uh, and that's why she went down. She went down pretty quick. Seeker are hardy beasts, and I've known them to run a long way with a busted heart or lungs. This is only 200 meters, which you might think is a long way to, for it to run and drop, but it's not, and I'm glad we've got there and found them. Um, they're such beautiful little creatures, these. I do love Seeker, and they're, as some stalkers would say, an absolute nightmare to stalk, but they're good fun. Um, just amazing really absolutely buzzing to actually finally get up and close with these guys and I live in Shetland and everybody thinks a deer stalk in Shetland and I don't I come down the road and this is what we do don't we Jake we do it's good fun we love it beautiful beautiful animal so we're gonna get this all nice and sorted out do a little bit of a field grolic and then uh, take it back to the slaughterhouse with a big drag amazing There you have it, that's both deer recovered now, which is amazing, apart from we're very far away, not that far away, I'd imagine it's going to get worse over the next couple days, but that's two down that we still have to get off the hill, so whilst there's a little bit of light, quick field grolic, Jake's looking at me like I know who's carrying them off. <laughs> Shooter carries. It's true. It's always a bit different when you shoot a couple of pheasants compared to a couple of deer. Um, right, this is where the work begins. It's the easy part, pulling the trigger. There you have it. We've uh, just dragged them off the hill, which was a fair bit. We got them into the truck and we're just going to put them in the larder now and finish them off basically, but it's time for a beer or a cup of tea. Good first day, eh? Woo. Cheers, ladies. Good What an egg. They got um. I'm not sure. Okay. Again, I've broken it on my knee. Yeah. And I guess if you get the wrong joint, then that's not going to be as easy on your knee. We're not good. So being back in the larder, we all do things pretty much our own way. Um, you might have been shown how to grow like a deer by I don't know, an experienced stalker, or you might have just um, learned yourself and done it your own way. But the good thing is here, we have our resident vet, Alan, um, and it's actually, it's a pretty good lecture. Um, having Alan talk through this process, uh, the way it should be done, and all the, talking about the lymph nodes and the nodules and all the problems you can come up with, um, it's really invaluable. So. Um, Having Alan here is is a pretty good uh, school day, so um, we'll let him carry on anyway. We're going to hang the beast up now. 
So when we shoot a deer, um, it's, it's really good if that deer goes in the food chain and that's always the aim. So what we need to do as trained hunters, which we have to complete a, a, a pretty intensive course for, um, is to inspect the deer in its natural habitat. So we're watching the deer, we're assessing the deer, looking at its behavior, how it is, and then when it's shot, there's certain things that we look for as well. So we look at lymph nodes and, and certain things as we go through the process of bringing it back to the larder. And um, we've also got labels as well to make sure there's a, a paper trail. Um, so when this goes off to the game dealer and heads to the supermarkets, um, should there be any reason to trace things back again, our numbers are on here. The fact that we've inspected it as trained hunters, we're contactable by the information we've put on here. And this is our declaration basically to say that as far as we're concerned, this is fit and healthy and is able to enter the food chain. So we label each carcass individually. It has, um, it has our details on here, it has the date that it was shot, and the fact um, that your number on here, a signature to say that you've inspected it and that you're happy for it to go into the food chain. And just like that, the first day is over. I can't explain in words really how amazing it was to get here straight off the ferry and get right onto the hill and into the deer. It's been an incredible evening with a sun even showing face and giving us a beautiful sunset. This is what it's all about, getting together with your mates, having a good old feed, in this case a nice traditional burn supper with haggis, neeps and tatties, to having a nice whiskey at the end of the night planning the next few days stalking. So stay tuned folks because it's only going to get better and we're going to have a lot of fun as well as a lot of hard work. So thanks for watching and I look forward to showing you the rest of my trip. Where in the next episode we head out to Red Deer Country in the open moors. And I can't wait.